hey guys and welcome back to another video of power apps so in this video we are going to discuss patch function so how we can add edit update using the patch function so let me add the one record i'll go for sarita and the mobile number and then okay now whenever i'll click on the save button you can see the user has been added if I want to update the user, so let me update this user. If I will click on the save button, you can see the user is going to be updated. So on the same button, we are going to add an update. So how we can achieve this? Let's move on the power apps and go here, add a SharePoint list. Click on the SharePoint. Go here. Choose our SharePoint list. Now add a tax input. Okay. Now add a button control. Call it as a save. Now this will be text input one dot name. Then similarly this will be email, mobile, and similarly this will be email. All right. Now I'll choose a gallery control over here. Okay. I'll make it only title let me add put this over here okay now go in the gallery and go here and in the title i'll make it name and make little bit small Okay, this will be mobile and this will be email. Okay, now see the form is ready. What I will do now on the save button, I'll, up, I'll apply a patch function, patch and here the list name for which we are going to apply a patch, employee detail. And here the common, uh, you know, the name of the column text input. What was the name of this? Oh. name all right so text input dot name dot text and then mobile text input mobile and email text input email dot text and here similarly dot text and you know uh, the mobile number is a uh, number so we have to convert it is in number so i'll go for value and the text mobile dot text okay now make it as a format format and now let's add a record so here i'll go and i'll uh, type nisha and the mobile number nija at the rate gmail.com when i'll click over here the record will be added okay here you can see the record is added but the record will not be updated because we have not done anything for that so let's go on this gallery and on the gallery control on the on select what i will do i will set a variable gal selected 
and gal1 dot selected okay then here what i will do gal selected dot name then in the default here gal selected dot mobile and for similarly for the email gal selected dot email now if i'll go here and i'll click select any item the data is going to be filled in the boxes okay only the thing is whenever i'll click over here and i'll need to update this data it will not be updated because we have not done anything it will add a new row see here okay the new row has been added for that what i need to do i'll make some changes in the patch function so in a patch function we will apply if condition if is blank and what is blank the gal selected or variable if the variable is blank it means we are trying to add a new record if that gal selected is not blank that means we are going to update the record okay now let me do this again go here in anil chandra and this i'll make is anil kumar okay whenever i'll click on the save button you can see the data is going to be updated okay similarly if i update the mobile number the mobile number is going to be updated okay now i need to add a new entry so for that what i will do i'll go and i'll take a icon and go over here in the add icon i need to uh, you know set a uh, you know uh, our variable gas selected i need to make it a blank blank okay the variable is blank now so whenever i'll click over here nothing is selected whenever i'll click over here nothing is selected okay nothing is selected now if i'll go and i'll update record uh, arun okay then arun at the rate gmail.com if file just click on save you can see the arun has been added now if i want to update this nisha this suji suppose i'll make suji khanna click on save you can see the record is going to be updated if i want to add uh, sam okay then sam at the rate gmail.com if i'll choose save the sam is going to be added so on the same button we are going to add add it and update all right so i hope you like this video and if you like this video then hit the bell icon and subscribe my channel thank you bye bye